Hey man, uh, your dog bit me and I feel weird. Psh, dude, it's a 12 pound chihuahua. What's the worst that could happen? Ah! Dude, dude, it's alright. I have dog superpowers now. <laughs> like what? <laughs> oh, I don't know yet, but it'll come to me. You know what? I think having superpowers would be pretty awesome. I mean, wouldn't anybody? Actually, Sush, I don't think having superpowers would be cool. Shut up. I mean, the thought of having superhuman abilities is so cool, but it begs the question, what would people do with them? Let's take the show The Flash, for example. Now, Flash is literally my favorite superhero, right next to Spider-Man. So as you can tell, I am obsessed with the show The Flash. In the first season of The Flash, it's about how a particle accelerator exploded, giving multiple people in Central City superhuman abilities, including the main character, Barry Allen, who obtains super speed from this particle accelerator. So basically, there's a large minority of people who are using their powers for evil doings, except main man Barry. Mwah. So yeah, The Flash goes on a magical adventure every season taking these bad boys down. Well, not every season, but I recommend you guys watch it if you haven't. So if people got superhuman abilities, what would happen? Heh. <laughs> I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I would use my powers for good. Probably. But Swoosh, what superhero would you be? I'm glad you asked. When I was younger, I made superhero books. My superhero name was, drumroll please, <laughs> Bug Boy. Gee, I wonder where I got that one from. Oh, dang! Spider-Man is in Avengers Infinity War? Wow, what a ripoff. Bug Boy's not in it? So yeah, he was basically Spider-Man but 13. I made two of these books, but you could totally tell that the first one was inspired by the 2012 film The Amazing Spider-Man. And the second book was inspired by the first two Flash seasons. Me and a YouTube friend met up in real life at one point and I showed him these little books. I could tell he wasn't that impressed. Oh, really? I bet you couldn't do better. Never mind. But at the time, I loved them, so that's all that matters. If I were to choose between having super speed and the ability to shoot webs out of web shooters, you already know I'm a pick super speed. Why? Now, I'm not a huge X-Men fan, but do you remember that one scene from X-Men Days of Future Past? If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do I love that scene. It's so cool. Mm. My main man Quicksilver is just running around the walls in slow motion. I was sitting in biology one time and I could just hear the music playing in my head and I just imagined what I would do with that power. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day. Till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you I think by now we've established who my favorite superheroes are. Flash and Spider-Man. They're my homies. I love you guys. We've also established what I'd do with Flash's powers. Mess around pretty much. So with Spider-Man's powers, you know what I would do? Nothing because it's literally impossible. Seriously, my class watched a documentary in biology about making spider webs, and it's scientifically impossible for someone to, let's say, hang on to a web. But Smooch, what about the flash's powers? Are you kidding me? All you have to do to obtain super speed is just stand outside in a storm and stick up a giant metal pole. <laughs> Stupid, that, that's who you are, you're stupid. Honestly though, if Spider-Man's powers were available to me, I would definitely put in the work to become a better hero. The fact that Spider-Man is a friendly neighborhood hero is really awesome. He's just a normal kid with these powers. Have you guys seen Spider-Man Homecoming? If not, you should give it a watch, it's a really good movie. But there are also different superpowers too. Super strength, heat vision, the ability to fly. Wait a minute, I just described Superman in like three ways. Dang, my guy Superman is really OP. But like, let's be real here. Why would you want to fly to, let's say Australia, when you could run there in like 10 seconds? It's foolproof. A little side tangent, but would people consider having really good memory a superpower? Scientists, you could do as many experiments as you want. I have finals coming up. <sighs> whoa, 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 hold on. It's me, future you, and I did all my finals. You guys did not help at all! But to wrap it all up, if humans obtain these superhuman abilities, I just hope that they would use them for good. I definitely would. And if some hero comes out of a portal in my living room one day and asks me to go with him, then I'm out. Goodbye, family. See you later, dog. Bye, YouTube channel. This guy with a cape claims he's from the future. Okay, bye. A video about superpowers is probably what most of you are thinking. Yeah, I just wanted to make a video branching off from the normal story time stuff because I wanted to make this video back in May, but school ending happened and then VidCon and wowee fam, it was a lot. So, VidCon. 
Wow. It was honestly insane. I can't describe how happy I was being recognized so many times and people saying hi to me. It felt super weird because I'm not used to it, but I just wanted to say thank you. Some people even made fan art for me and that's just crazy. A lot of people I know vlogged at VidCon, so when those videos come out, most likely I'll be in there. But yeah, sorry for the late video. I've just been a bit busy recently. That YouTube friend I mentioned was Bandana Bean, who is a very talented musician and I seriously recommend him. Go check out his stuff, link in the description. Also, thanks to my friend Casey for animating a scene at the end because I thought I could finish this before VidCon. That didn't happen. <laughs> Her links are also in the description. Sorry, I don't have any time to put in on the fan arts. I will definitely put them in the next video, but uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Also, buy some merch. The link is also in the description. It will be greatly appreciated. See you guys in the next video, and uh, bye, I love you.